All right, Sam, let's go over slip the clutch. Okay, so we're going to be just playing through um, using your chords. And remember, we want to switch to a full C this week, which is going to feel a little bit different and slower. That's okay. Make sure you're doing your easy C first, then just add your ring finger over. That'll make it a lot easier. So let's start with the top. We're going to start with G, two strums, one, two, C, full C, two strums, one, back to easy G, full, two strums, one, two, D, two strums, one, two e minor two strums one full c's coming up here we go to full c one two g two strums sorry easy d d two strums e minor two strums c is coming up full c two strums, easy G, two strums. Okay, now we're into verse one. So let's do that, E minor, four strums. One, two, three, four, full C. One, two, easy G, two strums. One, two, four more strums on G. One, two, three, four, D, one, two, E minor, one, full C's coming up, here we go, full C, one, two, G, two strums, one, two, D, two strums, one, two, E minor, two strums, one, two, D, two strums, one, full C's coming up, full C, one, two, G, one, D's coming up, two, one, Two full C, two strums. One, two, easy G, one, two. Okay, good. Let's keep going. We're on the second page. And E minor, one, two, D, one. Full C is coming up. Here we go, full C, one. Easy G is coming up. One, two, D, one. Full C, one, two, one. G for two, one, full C for two, one, full easy G for two, one, D for two, one, E minor for two is next, one, two, now we're going to do full C, one strum, G, easy G for one, and D for one. Now let's go to verse three, here we go, one, four strums on E minor, we're going to do four strums on full C. One, easy G's coming up, four strums. Easy G, one, two, three. D is four strums next. One, two, three. E minor's four strums next. E minor, two, full C's coming up, and full C. One, two, three. Four. If you're having trouble keeping up on the full C, keep trying. You're going to get it. It's a brand new way of playing C. Make sure you're switching to full to regular C, easy C, adding your ring finger, but keep that strumming going as you're adding that ring finger. I promise you, you'll get it. Okay, so now we are on a, a G for four strums. Easy G, one, two, three, four, D for four strums, one, two, three, now the next ones are all two strums each, E minor. One, D's coming up, D. One, two, full C, one, two, easy G. One, E minor's coming up, one, two, D is next, D, two, full C. One, two, easy G, one, E minor, one, D, one, two, good, okay. We're going to do one more verse, C for two strums. Here we go. One, G is coming up, G. One, D, one, full C is coming up, full C, easy G, one, full C is coming up. Here we go, full C, one, easy G, D is next, D, 
E minor is next, E minor. And now one strum on full C, here we go. One strum, E, D, G, one strum, four strums on D. One, two, three, four. Here we go, verse five, we're gonna do four strums for the next couple of chords. Here we go, E minor. One, two, three, four, C. One, two, three, easy G's coming up. One, two, D is next. Four, D, one, two. Now the next ones are two strums each, E minor, and one, D is next. Two, C is next. One, two, G is next. One, two, excellent. Now let's go over our up, down, um, uh exercise so we're going to go one start at the first fret of the sixth string one two three you have to do your pinky by itself that's fine and next one one two three four good and next string one two three or if you can't stretch your pinky, do it by itself. One, two, we're on the third string, three, and four, second string. One, two, three, four, and last string. One, two, three, four. Let's go over your two new chords. Of course, we've already covered full C with that ring finger added. And the cool thing is when you're going from a full C to the new A minor chord, all you have to do is move that ring finger. Watch this. Ring finger moves down below your second finger on that third string, and that's your A minor. Sounds like that. Okay, let's go back and forth. We're going to do four strums on C. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Now move that ring finger underneath the second finger for your A minor chord. And here it goes. One, two, three, four. Let's go back to the full C. Move that ring finger back up to the fifth string, third fret. And here we go. One, two, three. Move that ring finger down below your second finger on that third string and play A minor. One, two, three, four. Excellent. I put a chord drill for the new A minor and the full C on your homework page. So now that you're done with this video, I want you to go ahead and play through that chord drill and you are done for your practice. Great job today.